Hey guys, welcome to Living in New Hampshire. My name's Cody and I'm a local real estate agent with EXP. In today's video, we're gonna cover what to expect when living in Laconia, New Hampshire. Laconia is a small city located in Belknap County, 45 miles north of Manchester and 46 miles northwest of Dover the fifth most populated city in New Hampshire. Laconia has an estimated population of 16,581 residents across a total area of 26 square miles. Situated between Lake Winnipesaukee and Lake Winnesquam, which includes the villages of Lakeport and Wares Beach. During the summer, their home of Laconia Motorcycle Week, also known as Bike Week, started in 1923. The event takes place every June for nine days, beginning on a Saturday and ending on Father's Day. The number of riders continue to grow with more than 350,000 attendees every year. In 2015, Laconia became the new location for the New Hampshire Pumpkin Festival, formerly held in Key, New Hampshire, and its event held every fall for residents to attempt to break the world record for the most lit jack-o'-lanterns in one place, setting the world record nine times since starting in 1991. On average, the festival attracts more than 40,000 attendees. What makes Laconia such a beautiful area is the fact that it's located in the center of New Hampshire's lake region, making it a short drive to some of the most beautiful lakes in the entire state. Once things start to cool down during the winter months, you're only 44 miles from Waterville Valley Ski Resort and just eight miles from Gunstock Mountain. In addition to hiking, ice fishing, and skating, this city offers plenty of outdoor activities. Due to Laconia's land area, the city feels more populated than it actually is. For comparison, they have a population density of 809 people per square mile versus Concord, the state capital, which is 688. However, Concord has the largest land area in New Hampshire, almost two and a half times the size of Laconia. This makes Concord feel much more spread out despite having three times the population. When it comes to family-friendly cities, Laconia is slightly behind some of the smaller towns with a similar population size. 28% of households had children under the age of 18 living there, with 46% of homes being occupied by a married couple. When looking at data comparing median age, these numbers appear to be in line with what you'd expect, with the largest percentage of the population being between ages 25 to 44. Even though the population growth in the last few years has been relatively low, the median household income has continued to increase increase, which is currently at $57,046 per year. Not bad considering their median home price is just $253,925, which has increased 10.2% since last year, still ranking below the US average. While this is just a median value, it's likely that home prices could increase by three to four times the amount in areas surrounding the lakes. However, if you don't plan on buying a home, the average rent for a one bedroom apartment is around $1,400 per month. Despite not having the same reputation for jobs as you would find in the larger cities, they still offer a variety of companies to choose from, with three of the top employers being EFI, Hanley Enterprises, and Sage Dining Services. The Laconia School District is made up of five public schools and a career technical center. Laconia High School services around 600 students, grades 9 through 12, with a student to teacher ratio of 12 to one. Similar to most areas in central New Hampshire, average summer temperatures in June, July, and August tend to remain in the high 70s and low 80s. The rest of the year, temperatures fluctuate in the 50s and 60s, with winters dropping into the low and mid 30s. Being further north of the capital also increases their snowfall significantly, with the yearly average of 67 inches. And that wraps up the video, guys, of what to expect when living in Laconia, New Hampshire. Sure. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. It really helps to grow the channel. And as always, if you're thinking about moving to New Hampshire, or you just have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'll leave my contact info in the description below. Thanks for watching.